Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Saad Anwar, that's Abdul Rahim, and we are blessed! And for today's video, obviously we're going to be talking about a thing that's very viral out there. A lot of people have been jumping on this, Abdul Rahim, a lot, of people, a lot of people have been talking about this, trying to get on this, trying to change their life with this, and we know some brothers have, who have done that. But this is about TikTok and the TikTokers. Abdul Rahim, bro, do you have anything to say about this? I don't know man. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at um, TikTokers. We're gonna be seeing, you know, what kind of content, the content they put out, you know, what direction they have their page going towards. So, you know, yeah, let's get into it, see what they're going. Inshallah, bro, let's see this. And we're gonna analyze them on Instagram because obviously we don't use TikTok, but we use Instagram. And obviously, if you guys wanna follow us on Instagram, it's right here. And let's get into this. We're gonna break it down and we'll let you know. Boom! So, okay. Mm. So there's a bunch of guy in Tobes, yeah? Alright, they're dancing. You know, uh, yeah, man, uh, I mean, they're dancing. It's like, you know, one can say, yeah, what's so wrong about the dance? What's so wrong about what they're doing? I mean, you guys are jumping on and everything you see, right? Uh, but I, I just have a feeling that my, my personal take is, you know, the clothing that these guys are wearing. Mm. This is the clothing people of knowledge wear. And, you know, obviously, when you're wearing this, you're kind of representing Islam. People are looking at you. People are searching for answers out there. People have this negative assumption about Islam and Muslims. So when you, when you wear these, when you wear the thobe, shawar kameez, whatever the case may be, Abdurrahim, what do you think you should be on, bro? If you're wearing this, I mean, obviously, you know, you do whatever you want. But, like, if you're wearing something like this, right? Like Saad said, it's, it's a clothing of... The people of knowledge, right? You know, the, the, the shayukh, the ulama. So, you know, when you're doing stuff like this, like, it kind of just, you know, gives off a weird image. You know, people already think Muslims are weird. This just, this is just gonna, like, kind of support their understanding of that, you know? So, mm -hmm. I mean, exactly, exactly. I, I, I don't even understand what the, what, what's the point of this video. That's crazy sometimes, you know? Now apparently these are all these YouTubers, uh, sorry, TikTokers that are just doing the same dance, right, in an Arabic song. But I just feel like why this is so bad, because according, my brother knows, there's TikTokers here, and you guys probably may know them. They, they do Islamic content, mm. right, they talk about Islam, they talk about Allah and His Messenger, they do some da'wah. But they're being in this negative company, it's making them sucked into the environment, and they're actually with these people. and. Yes, they may not directly say that they're agreeing with the stuff they do, but they being with them buddy buddy, it gives off the young guy, the young Muslim man, like I said, the impression that this is all good. You know, twerking online with girls, it's all good. Look man, if you're giving dawah, you know, if you're calling towards Allah and the Messenger, don't be saying, you know, uh, this is part of the deen, right? If you wanna be, if you wanna, if you wanna be doing something, do one or the other. Don't like, Don't. you know, have your foot in both. Exactly. Like, you know, you feel, I feel like I was telling him the example that you're in a car, but you got, you don't got both of your feet in the car. You got one foot out of the door and you're one foot inside the car. Come, we're telling you, do this. Either come inside the car or get out the car, bro. Because we as Muslims, we're going to refute this because this is not part of our Islam. This is not a part of what we believe in. This is not what we believe and what we have understood and what is the fact of what Allah and His Messenger said. Asking Muslim TikTokers how much of a sinner they are. Hey, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much of a sinner are you? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Cocaine, women. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much of a sinner are you? 11 On a scale from 1 to 10, how much of a sinner are you? 6.9. Okay, that's not bad. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much of a sinner are you? Allah Hakka, if there's no sinners in the world, he would boost and he would create new mankind. So 1 to 10, 1 to 10. 9, 11. No, no, <laughs> on a scale from 1 to 10, how much of a sinner are you? Well, bro, it on the day of the week. Sometimes I'm haram, sometimes I'm halal, I'm mostly halal, so cut off the haram. I should carry like this? And then, <laughs> 1 to 10, bro, number. 7. So, I mean, you just saw the video. What do you think about this, man? Like, I mean, pe asking people how much of a sinner they are? Come on. Before I tell you what I think, you let me know what you think about this. First of all, we're supposed to conceal our sins. So now we're giving, us, giving ourselves a rating. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, yo, what is it? Every single child of Adam is a sinner. Yes, uh, the Prophet said this in the hadith. But we also, in, we have to encourage good and forbid the evil. So me saying that, yo, yeah, yeah, 100%, we may be even worse. But yeah. to say it in a way, 
in a way to uplift us in. Oh man, that's not bad. That's, what do you mean that's not bad? You, yeah. you to like to saying? flex it? To like, flex it, that's what I'm saying. Essentially, if you can control yourself by not eating, which is something your body really wants to do, it'll be easy for you not to do other things that you desire, which may be haram. Number two, it will increase your taqwa or God consciousness. As Muslims, most of the sins that we do are just innocent mistakes because we forgot. So when you're fasting for Allah, you never forget that you're fasting because your stomach doesn't... Look, mashallah, look, this is the brother you were talking about, I think so. And what were you saying? You can say that on camera. I mean, mashallah, you know, we have such a nice video here on the benefits of fasting. You know, it's a very beneficial video. But my personal kind of gripe is that, like, you know, you have these mashallah da'wah videos, you know, educating people on Islam. But then you also have, like, videos contradicting yourself, right? I mean, come on, it kind of, it doesn't make sense, right? Like, mm -hmm. do one or the other. Obviously, doing the da'wah is the better one. But, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. So guys, I've always had this really bad lisp when trying to speak with my retainer on. Look what happens when I try to say the word hijabi. Bald bitch. Okay, you're a die though. You're calling to Allah and his messenger. And you're, you're definitely, you're not only seen saying this, you're uploading this on your own account. And you've been seeing dancing with women, brother. Brother, look man. The Sahabas used to be afraid of within themselves to be hypocrites. And we have to, we're not Sahabis. Me, you, him, nobody. Mm -hmm. We have to be at least, if we're calling to Allah his messenger, come with the true understanding and the true action of the limbs. It's not only action of the tongue that we'll see, brother, or you preaching to us the amal, the application of what you're preaching. And that goes for all the young guys that think it's okay. On one side you have da'wah videos educating people on Islam, mashallah, very beautiful. But then on the, on the other side you have videos, you know, basically mocking our Muslim sisters. And not only that, but you know, using profanity. So it's kind of like, man, you got, it's, it's one or the other. You can't have your feet in both places, right? Obviously the da'wah is the better one, but if you really, you, you just, you have no choice, but you just want to, you just want to do that, then just do that. Look, he has good. You have a lot of good. This is good, much like you give Quran ayahs, you're explaining the deen. But you get what I'm saying, there has to be a balance, brother. You know what I'm saying? So, so, like. We can't take our deen as a mockery because the people of the past, Allah destroyed, and Allah tells them about them. What did they do, bro? They went off the limits. I mean, what did Bani Israel do? Oh. They, they were given so many chances, but at, wow. in the, at the end, we all know the story, right? So, and that happens with you subtracting, subtracting, and adding. The adding, you ruin the deen. You know. That's what we say. Look at look at the Quran and the Sunnah, but with the understanding of who? With the understanding of the companions. So then you use a yardstick. When these people bring their fruitiness, you know that yardstick. When somebody else is bringing his groupiness, you know that yardstick. So that's what we're trying to call to, and. Yeah, subhanAllah, bro, to closing remarks to the young Muslims out there, bro. If you have a message, you know, the guys that are young, around 11, 10, to all the way to 15 or 16 years old, and watching these guys and actually learning from these guys and uh, trying to emulate them. What's your take on that? I mean, you know, may Allah bless uh, these people, may Allah guide them, may Allah guide us all, yeah, but, guide us, bro. but uh, you got to understand um, you know, what's right and what's wrong, right? Look, Shaitan, he makes the bad look really good. You feel like you're missing out on something. You feel like you're not with it. You're not cool. You know, you're not light. But you have to understand what Allah, what Allah and His Messenger come, came with in following that and adhering to that, you will find true solace. And I just want to finish off by this hadith narrated by Abu Hurairah where he said, the Messenger of Allah said, everyone from my nation will be forgiven except for those who sin in public. Among them is a man who commits an evil deed in the night that Allah has hidden for him. Then in the morning he says, O oh people, I have committed this sin. His Lord had hidden it during the night, but in the morning he reveals what Allah has hidden. So, source Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. May Allah protect us. May Allah guide us. And, uh, yeah, bro.